You've likely seen the video. It's been seen uh, over a million times. A San Francisco art gallery owner facing charges after he was caught on video spraying a homeless woman with a garden hose. Now you can see this man, Shannon Collier Gwen, using a hose to spray a woman who was camped out on the sidewalk close to his business. The video grabbed worldwide attention as America continues to deal with a growing housing crisis. Alex Capriello is live outside of the gallery where it happened there in San Francisco. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning to you, Mitch. That San Francisco art gallery owner is no longer in police custody after making bail. Now, like most stories, there's two sides here. The first is best represented by the vandalism and damage that happened to this gallery, reflecting the outrage that many people feel about his actions. But then the other side is this growing course of people who feel like this man was justified, uh, reflecting the overall frustration many people feel about the homeless crisis right here in the city. Caught on camera, San Francisco art gallery owner Shannon Collier Gwynn is now facing a battery charge after hosing down a homeless woman on the sidewalk. The incident caught the attention of millions of social media users who called the spray down inhumane. In response, Gwynn's art gallery was vandalized as rocks were hurled into the windows from angry protesters. The district attorney who filed the charges condemning both sides, writing on Twitter, the alleged battery of an unhoused member of our community is completely unacceptable. Likewise, the vandalism at Foster Gwynn Gallery is also completely unacceptable and must stop. Two wrongs do not make a right. While Gwynn has not answered a request for comment, he told the San Francisco Chronicle that he called police and social services, then told her to move, and then she allegedly threw trash at him and yelled back. Some support Gwynn in his moment of frustration. It points out to the tipping point, the level of frustration that we all have. San Francisco Chamber of Commerce President Rodney Fong says people in the city are exhausted with what seems like a lack of progress in handling the homeless crisis. Others on social media echo his concerns, saying police often won't respond when homeless calls are phoned in. Whether you're that person on the street or that gallery owner, the level of frustration um, is there for everybody. I think we all know that we can do better as a city. We all know that this is a wonderful, beautiful city to live in, to work in, to, to play in. And uh, it deserves better, frankly. Quinn, if convicted, could face up to six months in jail. Of course, this was a story that captured the attention of so many people. We're going to stay on it, Mitch, and uh, try to find out what happens to him. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.